As a pagan priest, I have stepped away from my Christianity because what I see that men and women of that community do. What I feel is how many Christians I've stood in front of as I was losing my house and losing my opportunity, and they all simply said, I cannot help you. Or they said, gosh, I don't know you. So I think back to the times of Jesus of Nazareth that we've learned from the Bible, and what we saw of him is that he was a traveling and making a revival. And when he traveled, he almost never knew the people he met. And what he did was try to teach them a lesson, a proverb, a story that would move them forward in their mind. And what we've done is carried those lessons across America, around the world, over time. And yet no Christians that I have met have actually played out those moral lessons. I'm amazed at how, how many people claim to be Baptist, Christian, Methodist, Lutheran, Catholic, and yet they're the first and last to harm you and me who are living in poverty. You see, you can quote as many Bible verses as you want to. You can tout as many lessons of the Beatitudes as you'd like, but as long as you walk past people like me and pretend that you don't see, it proves that God is not in you. I don't expect every human being to walk up and talk to me, but we do have this concept in America of being neighborly. We do have this concept in America of taking care of our family. But what you chose when you moved out of your mother and father's house was to create your own family. And what you chose to do was never show up on family reunions or never show up on family parties to keep yourself separate from people like me. And what you chose to do was decide in your mind that you're in control of me. But what's true in life is that you can barely control your own life. I mean, look at your house. Look at your poverty. And what you've done is continued your abuse because you might have gone to counseling, you might have had a spiritual advisor, you might have enjoyed somebody at a mega church who's willing to talk to you for real. But here's the deal. In my life, you've lost all your appeal. Because you chose a bastard of Satan to marry. And you chose an impoverished family to carry into ours. And you chose to school him and make him think that at any time that he and his children could have money that belongs to ours. The problem of America is not usually what happens overseas. The problems in America are what happens right here in our cities. That right here in our cities we can have ordinances that says we protect the diversity of all people, we regard the economic, socioeconomic constructs of our society, we understand that people literally lose in poverty and sadly in notoriety, and we feel that black lives matter, but in truth, all lives matter. But we're not going to show that in our lives. So the minute that you stopped caring about me, the minute you started abusing me, the minute you started stealing my mail, the minute you started to wail in front of people, the minute you started to walk in and pretend you were in control of me, the minute you walked into my insurance office and talked about me, the minute that you walked into my bank and ruined me, the minute that you did all these things with my late mother because she was happy to have that done to me was the minute that you showed that you learned nothing in your life about the rules of American society and the, the rules of American propriety and the minute you started to try to medicate someone in your family that really is not in your first <coughs> party relationships anymore because when you went out the door and you married that bastard of Satan he ruined our family evermore but I can render that opinion I can stew about it to no end but the truth is I don't care anymore but what I do care about is how you've commandeered my property, begun to sell it like it's your own, and openly you've sold yourself to Satan. Now I'm sad for you that you will not end up in heaven. I'm sad for you that your life's going through hell. I'm unimpressed that you can't keep a job more than a few years now, and that's on your own behest. But if I make a mistake in my language, forgive me because that's what my skill sets are. But if you make a mistake, what does it happen to you? Apparently nothing more. But what you're doing is putting yourself in front of a sheriff's department that loves to take property, possessions, and more. 
and at some point your your evil plot to take over our inheritance to give it to yourself and your children and not share it in the way my father meant it is openly the first step towards ruining our family destroying our lives and get every get everyone into jail for their immorality for their illegalness and for their lies because what do people want in America is money and what you've done is made our family look funny and what you created was hatred in our family and what you did was baited it with your children and what you've shown yourself to be is immoral and openly what you've done is ruined anything of safety for me